Lincoln Regional Center is the only state operated mental health treatment hospital. There used to be two others. One was transitioned to a youth facility, the other to only treat sex offenders. Now, while institutionalization is not the goal nor the answer, experts say more beds in the state hospital would be good for those in need. It's not meant to treat people for 100 plus days. Kristen Nelson, Emergency Services Director for Region 5 Systems, says there's a woman who has been in the Lancaster County Crisis Center for more than 100 days, waiting for a bed at the Lincoln Regional Center. That's just a good example of a system failure. That is not where we should be. People should not be sitting in a facility like that for 100 days. She says not enough beds are allocated to the regions. I'm currently allotted under what they call the bed allotment, about 17 beds. It's a number she says has been dwindling since 2004 when the state closed the other two hospitals to general admission with the goal of getting people out of hospitals and into communities. I would say LB 1083 was a very big success until. Until the resources in the communities didn't match the need and the number of beds available for hospitalization gets lower as the population gets bigger. Originally it was 100 beds and then it was 90, then it was, I think we're currently at 40. So 40 is not enough beds statewide, which is why I think we're seeing some of the, the pushback and the kickbacks in the system. Kickbacks, like people spending longer in the crisis center, which is meant to be very short term. The, the people that we inpatient that were adjudicated by the Board of Mental Health in need of inpatient treatment, their overall uh, average length of stay the previous fiscal year was 43 days. They stayed here on average that long. Last year, um, between 22 and, and, and 23, their average length of stay went up to 59 days. And so that's, that was in one year. 1011 reached out to the Department of Health and Human Services multiple times for an interview to figure out who exactly is filling the 224 beds available at the regional center and why wait lists are so long. They declined an interview, but based on an email from the department and an online dashboard, we do know bed allocations are determined by state legislature. And there are a number of beds that could be opened if they had enough staff to support them. This issue has been handed to a legislative committee to figure out. I'm really hopeful that we are going to get good data, um, good information from that study to determine what are the actual needs in our state, um, not only for capacity reasons, so how many beds are actually needed, but even thinking about things from a geographic perspective, right? Where does it make sense to um, have these facilities? And um, you know, how do we ensure that when we invest in this as a state that we're doing this in a way that is thoughtful uh, and that's responsible. We do know more than 50 of the beds at the Lincoln Regional Center are allocated to people who have been ordered there to be restored to competency to continue their court process. We'll have a story on the wait that group is facing tomorrow at 10.